Daphne and I'm Jonan and, and we, we are, are the, the Kabigumiras and this is our love story. The official story or her side? <laughs> I'll, I'll start because I'm not a good storyteller. Like he he has like he knows how to add in everything, almost everything. But what I remember is um, the first time we met was at my office in Intinda, and we were going to have a movie night as cell members. Yeah, just so. me and you. Eh? No, I cell <laughs> members. My cell, his cell, and I think a few other friends. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I remember him moving up and up and down with cables, etc., helping here and there. Yeah. But I really didn't notice him. Mm -mm. Yeah, because <laughs> I just I just saw him as any. And just you noticed me moving around with cables yeah. and everything, but you didn't no, like, notice I didn't, me. I didn't. I didn't like. I wasn't like, ooh, who's mm. this guy, you know? Yeah, that whole first time <laughs> thing, <laughs> it didn't happen to me. Yeah, but yeah. the first time we met. Uh, 2018. 2018. 2018. Uh, it was a very cold evening. I was bored. Uh, some boy of mine called Matt is like, man, dude, we have a movie night. We have organized in sale. Do you want to come through? You could maybe help out with a few things or something. I'm like, no problem. Get in the car, we go to Tinder and boah, we were at the host's place and it was Daphne. It was no big deal, really, no big deal. As a very happy single man, since we're down playing what, what really happened, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the first time we met. Uh, movie night in cell, 2018. Last year. Yeah. In July. But you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't tell them the part of, <laughs> you saw this lady in a dress, you know? Too much jazz. <laughs> we'll probably share it after. But uh, we started dating last year in July. Yes. I think it was July 8th, to be specific. Yeah. <laughs> you see the details? Uh, I don't know how to put this. <laughs> One moment we were friends, the next moment we were more than friends. <laughs> the whole... <laughs> The whole asking each other out or asking her out, man, it, 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 it like just, spirit. <laughs> we just transcended into a relationship, yeah, really. but yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, so he didn't really like say, will you, you know, go out with go me, out. be my girlfriend, yeah. which he, what, no, uh, yeah, how do I put this, uh, I'm a very spiritual person. And for me, marriage was something that I had uh, given to God as like, man, we're gay. I'm not about to start hoping into relationship to relationship. The Bible says, you know the plans you have for me. Wallahi, that plan, you have to be knowing the woman you want me to be with. <laughs> when the time is right, which you should know, tell me the person and that the time is right. And I will flow. And... Uh, 2018 when I met her, it I started getting some, you know, like messages about about uh, my whole purpose and all that stuff, what my marriage is going to be designed for and all that. I don't know if people believe in purpose, but yes, I, I, I strongly believe we all have purpose. So along the way, God makes it clear to me that she is the woman that I should be with, that she is the wife that I had told him to reveal to me at the right time. So I'm like, hey, guy, I know this chick. There is no way you're telling me that this is the person I'm going to be with. And I remember, like, I think I was enjoying my singleness a bit too much because I, I was debating. As Every time I would kneel down, and I'm like, man, dude, are you sure? Are you sure? Can you confirm it? Can you confirm it? But it wasn't even really of, I was doubting him or what, but man, Marriage is the rest of your life. It's not something you want to get wrong. So 
I kept asking, you know, like uh, confirm it to me and he confirmed it and I still went back and I was like, man, the guy, let me tell you why this cannot be. You know, and I caved in at a certain moment. I realized I was moving in disobedience, I was tired of it and I made peace with it. And along the way, he also confirms it to her and it was the time, I think the reason why the whole asking out never happened was because of that. We, we confirmed to each other at a certain point in a very weird discussion uh, about what had been happening in the background, you know, God saying this, that, confirmations from here and there, and then the next moment we're in a relationship. <laughs> so I think, I actually know, I'm now very sure that is where the whole asking God never happened. Yeah. After we were aligned to the matter, we were like, yeah. And I think it was easy because we had been friends f since 2018. Uh, I knew her, she knew me, we were really good friends. So, yeah. So that is what happened. That is how the story of waiting for 15 more years uh, to get married crumbled. <laughs> the hardy guy was knocked down. Uh, yeah, yeah. He failed. He failed. Fail. Yeah. <clears throat> So 2020, um, I think it was 2019, 2018, when I tried my best to decide, you know what, God, this whole relationship thing is, um, I'm going to put it at a halt, you know? And I told him, now you'll just reveal to me who my husband is. And I told him, but you have to reveal to him as well that I'm his wife. Because <laughs> I don't want to get into this marriage and then... Um, we get into shaky ground and someone is thinking maybe this wasn't meant to be etc and i'm also thinking you know maybe so i said we both have to be sure because i had been watching um you know i i saw megan good and the husband god spoke to both of them then there are the Lindsay's, heather Lindsay, i think and um i've forgotten the husband's name but god also revealed to both of them and then i said you know what god if you can do it for them you can do it for me surely and yes, I believed, although at some point, oh, and I actually got a revelation. I just, in my sleep, I just saw the word wait. And then as I saw the word, I also heard a voice say wait. So when I woke up, I said, okay, clearly he's telling me what um, to do because he already knew. Um, but 2018 passes, 2019 nothing, 2020, so I'm like, okay, maybe it's this other person, you know? Then I started trying to solve the issue myself um until god also told me no that's not him so i said okay who is it revealed to me and one time i just left my bed <laughs> i was just on the ground i prayed all night and that um that night i get a revelation that it's actually jonan and of course i wake up i'm like jonan no way and i was like no <laughs> No, 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 no. People no, no. may think I'm a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, because of the way we were friends. Yeah. And you know, I would open up to you about my other relationships and my issues. I was like... Man, that was weird for me. I was like... <laughs> Man, after hearing all this stuff, and now, like, really, I have to deal with that baggage <laughs> as well. You know, like, you know the baggage that you're going to do to deal with. I was like, what? Yeah. Ah, man. Yeah. Hey. So, um, I kept it quiet. I didn't tell him. Did I? You don't, you, 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 I think we're in like a fellowship of sorts. And we had, we have a friend of ours who, I think, was, no, you know, we, you actually, opened up to me you were like man uh this and that and all that and i was but like, I was like laughing about it right i was like man can you imagine yeah um but before i think <coughs> i told you i went to your mom i was like because i've been having a series of dreams mm. about you and me and you know i don't know ministry do you see so i went to your mom um i went to his mom and i was like i don't know if i was calling her mom then <laughs> but i said i am tired of dreaming of your son <laughs> I told her, I'm like, I'm tired of dreaming of your son. Just pray with me, pray for me. I don't know what's happening, but um, yeah, your mom calmed me down and you know, at some point mentioned, um, I think I also got the same, same revelation, but let us wait, we'll talk. Yeah, and that's when everything began. <coughs> that's when um, 
this one said yes i also got the revelation this other one came up and then yeah and then mm. this happened so for starters onji <laughs> uh uh sometime around uh, december i was planning a proposal like uh, i already knew what she would probably like so i was like if i'm to do it it may be a bit suspicious in this whole december thing it's christmas her birthday month her birth month everything is going to be suspicious she's going to see it coming so i was like i think let me wait till next month but really i was also buying time for myself i was still asking myself are you sure you go you're going to go down like this <laughs> so in in jan uh her mom's birthday is on 24th jan so they invite us over and we were setting off from home with uh, my mom uh my sisters and and a friend of mine called smith so i asked my friend to first take my mom and the rest as as really considering it because the boldness you require to pull off a stunt like that in a place where you're just a guest mass. <laughs> it was crazy but by the time he came back i was sure i was like my mind is made up meanwhile i'd already bought the ring and all that stuff but i was just making the decision we rush and buy uh, a bouquet of flowers and i tell him man i think i'm going to propose today but i tell him i think i'm not sure yet so trees are not too kayo ne changi i'm going to push it some other time and <laughs> the dude is like man totally serious so he saw me get a blazer and put it uh, in in the car i was like i'll get this as backup just in case i'm sure put it out then we do this so we get the flowers they're also there in the car and i'm like okay to gain there so we reach there and it's the mom's birthday so of course greeting relatives and all that stuff her whole clan almost the whole clan was there and i started asking myself man how is this going to go down so it was it was be- becoming a bit dark for that as i even was like how do i get a, ca- a cameraman here without being suspicious so we set a plot and tell guys man i think we need to capture moments like this and all that we have a friend that takes pictures there was a boy of ours who was around and he had uh, like uh, equipment so we, we tell him and come through we just want you to take pictures of something like this but then we tell him the plan at a certain moment should you see me behave weirdly just now i'm going to propose so do what you have to do <laughs> and the guy laughed and he came through so people bought the whole thing were there and they're giving speeches and all that stuff i pinch my sister and i'm like man yeah so for start as getting daffin to come to come out of the house because she was all running around <laughs> feeling the most helpful person in the family so yeah. uh getting her to come out of the house i sent one of her her, her nephews i'm like man dude go tell daff they're calling her to give a speech outside so the guy goes inside the house tells her man they're calling you outside to give a speech and all that stuff so she comes out and finds my sister giving a speech you know like just saying a few nice things about the mom and the family and uh they they take take up <laughs> take up by the neck apparently and she was like, like, like come like, here come here, come here. Me like this? uh and and well they had her back turned around i ran to the car grabbed uh the jacket put it on uh grabbed the bouquet of flowers and i walked to where they were now they, they were facing away from where where the car was so she wasn't seeing anything and i knelt down for like 10 minutes my guy 10 minutes 10 minutes waiting for a person to turn around like and everyone was like literally already like with eyes wide open and all that stuff clearly saying is something that is happening behind you she didn't get signals <laughs> I was like wow so my sister finally cracks it and she's like man and you know we're so grateful what because of you guys you know like your daughter we love her and no, I know it's your it's your mom's birthday but we also have a present for you and she just they flip her around and she turns and <laughs> there I am on my knees and I proposed in front of her grandmother her mother her father their brothers and sisters the uncles everyone in the clan 
the weird bit is I think my heart stopped beating, so I'm still panicking or anything. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was the proposal. That's my side of the story, though. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> same, but indeed, I, I had no idea. <clears throat> I had no idea. Um, it was it was a Sunday, mm. and we were from church. I think he dropped me home because I had to, you know, be home to help and yeah, etc. Yeah, so it was a normal day for me. <laughs> when I saw him on his knees, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, it's happening. And then it hit me like, oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> it's real. It's, 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 oh gosh, yeah. But I need accountability for the 10 minutes I was kneeling. Like, that's your sister. She was, <laughs> by the way, I was like, uh, Hello, why are you holding me like this? Like you're struggling, you first relax. <laughs> she really didn't want me to turn, you know, because he was behind me. Um, yeah. I think that's why your sister, not me. I really wanted to move, like. <laughs> so that's yeah. your account of the proposal. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes. One, a lot of people say, people say it's not like a real. What? Are you okay? I'm listening. Okay. I'm part of the audience. <laughs> Okay. Um, with us. <laughs> um, one because God said. Um, two, I started to find out that he's he's a loving person. He's funny. He's friendly. He's God fearing. You found out just he's, last year. He's... Okay, no, some other thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's spirit led, but you got me. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, he's spirit led. Um, he's hard working. He's wise. Yeah, there are moments when wisdom just <laughs> flows, and and yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. And he's he's handsome. He's, yeah. This shirt is covering the wood, the wood. The wood. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I think from the first time I met Duff, really, uh, I was challenged to be more, more than I knew, really. I was challenged to be more than I knew. <clears throat> uh, it was at the time where I was trying to grow my spiritual life. I felt I felt everything else was in check, but I wanted to grow spiritually to more than to at least a, a higher place than I was at. And I find this Chana so passionate about the things of God, so humble, so you know, composed, not all over the place, like crowdy and all that stuff, very peaceful and when she opened her mouth to talk about God or spiritual things, the dreams she has, the vision she has, the things she wants to do for God, I was like, hey, man, touchy susa. If that was a thing back then, I would have used it. But yeah, and because I remember even in that movie night, we had moments where we were picking on her, uh, like something would be like, there would be something crazy about happening in the movie, like they went to chop off someone's head or punch someone or something. And then uh, we were cracking jokes about how she was about to start interceding for the people. <laughs> and she was literally there with some other buddies. Oh my God, ah, save him! <laughs> or something like that. And we were like, man, really, how spiritual can one be? But she challenged me to be more than, than I was uh, and desire to be more than I could really think of being in that period both spiritually and even when it came to the career uh, life and all that she really challenged me to be more i think that was the first thing that really i can say attracted me to her much as we were friends i found her attractive just because of that uh then the rest really man she's beautiful i mean come on Thanks. come on i would have asked the camera guy to, to zoom in but it's okay it's yeah. okay she's That's so radiant sorry. they probably <laughs> see her from that side uh but uh, she's a very beautiful woman. Uh, she's dedicated. Uh, her commitment to God and to anything that she really puts her heart to 
is very amazing yeah i love you i love you too <laughs> yeah uh we actually didn't dance um that evening because we we're like rushing curfew and everything but we did dance in a hotel room but with, with no song no music nothing we yeah but i had music in my head though with song we shall leave the song <laughs> uh but okay yeah although we had a, we had planned songs already uh yeah. i think you wanted to dance to the vow by is it timmy dokolo yeah yeah you wanted you wanted that to be the song we dance to was it that or there's also the other i choose you by uh ryan is it ryan darling, darling? yes yeah. those are i think the two songs we're supposed to dance to but yeah yeah we, get a too. we lockdown yeah. wedding stuff you get it <coughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but but yeah like she said we danced when we go to the room all i can say is mine was not as dramatic <laughs> as his side because i it was chilled out for me he for some reason decided to do everything from the beginning he was like i'll take care of everything i already have my guys i know the photographer i already know that i don't know what the decorator etc i was like okay because i remember i was seated with um your sister charlotte and we're like okay let's look for decorators or what like guys just chill just find your wedding dress and that's it who'll do your makeup i'll do the rest So in my head, I'm like, whoa, this does not happen. Um, yeah, and I would say for me, it was really chilled out. I didn't even become a bridezilla, you know. I think that's what helped me not to, because I was always calm. Um, on the other side, though. <laughs> let, let, let me tell okay. the other side. Okay. <laughs> it was stressful. <laughs> It was it was it was crazy but uh, not to a level that is really disturbing uh, but I did a lot of running around but it was quite uh, good that uh, I think I knew all my service providers uh, almost personally some of them weren't as personal but almost personally uh, Makula pictures of course uh, I've known Jeff for some time so it was a very easy discussion uh, the decorator was an aunt of mine <laughs> the, the the sound people uh were a uh, people we pray with at church and the friends of ours the mc is a boy of mine uh <laughs> who else the hotel the hotel <laughs> there is a friend of of mine from work uh who 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 helped me out with securing the the deal with where we did the wedding and everything so really everyone it was easy and they are excellent people really so it was if you give this person a job to do they are going to do it and they're going to do it well because their brand is on the line so it, it was quite easy the moving around was just really uh gathering people like family making sure everyone is aligned and all that stuff but The preps were quite quite interesting yeah yeah it was a fun experience for me i would have probably planned the wedding much earlier like last year <laughs> i know i just started dating and all that but i would have planned it back then i i, I proposed in jan and right after proposing i had set a date for the wedding to be may 27th i was trying to cheat the exams you know have my back done the <laughs> wedding on the same day but that didn't work out <laughs> but i would have i would have planned much earlier and i think prepared everything much earlier because we had the kuhinjira and the wedding in the same time time frame like one week apart and it did not help a lot with the whole planning you're planning for the one you're planning for the wedding as well resources are getting mixed and all that stuff so i would have probably planned it much earlier much earlier so that at least but with with like at least by the time we come to a month to the wedding That's it's just expensive. waiting on service providers really mm. yeah so preparation yeah <laughs>
<laughs> um, well, for me, it was when I was walking down with uh, my dad when he came, you know, behind to walk me down. I was like, okay, this this is this is sweet. And I felt, you know, proud as well. Yeah, at that moment. I can't wait to be your wife. <laughs> Not that. Like, um, I felt I was really making my dad proud, my parents. Mm. And that they are alive to see this. I was, I felt very, very grateful. Yeah, so one of the things that come into mind when I remember the wedding is that walking down with my father. And uh, no, it's not that moment. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, when I saw you waiting for me, yeah, that was nice. That was. I had no option. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <Bad show. laughs> yeah, but uh, for me, I think I think because I was more engaged in uh, almost all the activities. To do with the wedding, I had very many beautiful, beautiful moments or moments that I'll, I'll always remember. For starters, leaving the wedding day alone. So we got, we were wedded on Friday, and we did the wedding on Saturday. Mm-hmm. That that day, the day we were wedded was full of drama. Like we were actually almost close to not being wedded because of uh, some small confusion but uh, god helped us and everything was cleared up and they managed to wed us so the evening is the first moment that i i died of laughter i get a call from jeff <laughs> and he's like go man i'm hearing you just got married why are you making me have these <laughs> difficult conversations with niggas the video graphic is asking you to confirm tomorrow and i'm hearing you're wedded already <laughs> like what's, what's going on here so I laughed, I laughed so hard and I told the guy, man, first chill, first chill. We're just wedded, like the church beat is done today. But uh, tomorrow is the, the wedding is still on. So let me come, I see we iron things out. And the guy's like, <laughs> I laughed. Um, I, I think <laughs> when, I told, when I told the rest of the family as well, they were like, man, for starters, it, it's like, even the people that were there to on on like at church when they were wedding us were told to come that very moment. That's how dramatic the day was. So when you tip it off with a service provider calling you and saying, "Man, good guy," <laughs> yes, and you were supposed to take pictures of. Them. <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, then the next day, I think it it's fun working with people you know. Saturday we had so much fun. Uh, I don't know about uh, Duff yeah. and her groom and her maids, but I had so much fun uh, during the photo shoots before the whole event, like the the, the 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 shoots from the rooms and all that stuff. We had so much fun. It it was a very lively time, like with the boys. Like everyone still remembers it. It's like we were hanging out as boys and you know just taking pictures and all that stuff with someone getting married but it was very fun uh from the being 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 given like the poses to to <laughs> to like Kane and 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 they take photos of us yeah. to just embracing the moment of we actually getting married and the moments being captured are, are what define our wedding for life like everyone will look at this and they'll be like this is the day these guys got married yeah, yeah. so it, it was very fun i loved i loved the photo sessions i loved i loved the way the mc just engaged everyone at the event mm-hmm. and uh yeah. man it was, it was fun i don't think there is one moment i can put a hand on and be like i did not enjoy yeah. the wedding i enjoyed every moment of it yes yeah everything was good it, <laughs> Every moment, you know, from the cameraman saying one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we got that. Oh god! Like we now take pictures <laughs> that way. Like even when you take his selfies. <laughs> I'm sure those who've gone through his hands. Yes. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, that's so true. I remember when people were leaving, people were taking selfies and all that stuff, and I was seeing the bridesmaids and groomsmen, all of one, them two, before three. the photo, like they take any selfie. One, two, three. 
<laughs> well, uh, yeah, it was a very fun time for us. Yeah. It was very fun. Well, wow, I, would, I would like to say Makula Pictures, they know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do. It took me time to convince my bride and my family that Makula Pictures know, knows what he's doing. Wow. <laughs> I remember when I first told guys, man, <laughs> I know the camera person. Like, just leave that alone. People were like, Gwe, my service provider, basically, was uh, like, you're going to say, Miss Maya, you know, the cameraman, what? The guy will come late, the guy will do what? But the day of the wedding, the camera guy was there before even the groom. Like, dude called me, oh, you are. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was still at home making sure people are all prepared and all that stuff. So, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm very glad to see that, you know, like, the pictures and every moment with uh, them, they everyone, everyone, everyone enjoyed them. Yeah, everyone enjoyed them. They did, and they recognized that there are still some people who know what excellence means. Oh yeah, yeah. So big ups. Yeah. Big up. So marriage. Uh, well, I think the first bit I'll speak to is to the men. Marriage marriage so far as i know it from the marriage preparation to the short time that we've been married is literally as we're told it is dying to self like being laying down your life like proper stuff i had i had very 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 many moments during the with the marriage preps and all that stuff where i literally almost died trying to see through the moments <laughs> Like accidents uh, and all that stuff, like legit, legit dying, not dying in like man, in far, <laughs> no, like real dying. Uh, and I thought I would have quit like in the beginning, but then I did not. Which brings me to the next bit that I believe marriage is based on the short experience that I have. It is a series of deliberate choices in simple terms. From whether you want to be in it or not in it, it's a deliberate choice. From whether you want to be happy or not, it's a deliberate choice. From whether you want to make your wife happy or not, it's a deliberate choice. It's a series of deliberate choices. And they, there is no particular area you can come up and say, okay, no, here I had no choice. You always have a choice. I've come to learn that. Yeah. So marriage to me is a series of deliberate choices. And for the man being willing to die for your wife. <laughs> she just said, but don't die with me. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me see. What I can say is when you get married, like you said, you die to self. There are old things you need to, or old ways you need to let go of. And uh, probably new things you need to carry into the marriage for it to, to, to go through, you know? You can no longer be the way you used to. Because now there's this other person, this other character. You're from different backgrounds, you know, you've been doing things your way, you know, when you were single, but now you're with this person, same house, 24 hours, you know, every day. So yeah, you can't come in with the same things, you know. Of course there are those other things that you have to come with the good things, <laughs> but the others, yeah, either you, um, Talk it out to something, but um, other times, yeah, just out with the old and in with the new. Yeah. Reduced people. We reduced people from, I started with a list of 100 people, but then looking at how things were going, I was like, man, we might have to reduce, and I reduced down to 50 people. When the lockdown came, I had to reduce those to 20 people. So, the changes were more positive than negative on my part, I would like to say, 
because uh, I mean the hotel had to give us back some money now at, uh, as a result of that but we still decided man to get a better loss let's utilize the money still so give people extra drinks more food just make sure the money is utilized uh it it simplified things in this in a in a weird way really I, I i don't know how to put it me i i was so happy with the way things played out but the biggest change was on costs uh for like food and yeah and venue discussions were the re- renegotiations were interesting and very much to our help although family members weren't happy yeah yeah people mm-hmm. were like man why wouldn't you invite us to the wedding and we had to be like man the president he dictated 20 care. people we have no choice we actually promised people that we'll <laughs> give him a bigger wedding <laughs> later on <laughs> yeah <laughs> we oh is the is, is the camera rolling we won't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was happy cuz I had always wanted a small wedding. Yeah. Although before before even knowing about lockdown and all these things, I was like, "Ha, but will it really happen?" Now my family, probably the guy's family would also, you know, want a huge. So I put it in my mind that, ah, you know what? If they ask for so many people, I'll I'll be okay with it. So I started preparing my mind, but originally I wanted a really small um cozy really? wedding. Yeah, it worked out well. Mm. I was actually uh, surprised when her parents were like, "Man, we just have a list of seven people. If they can come, we'll be happy." I was like, "It's okay. Give me that list." Yeah, but I was lucky. I didn't have to do those discussions of. Uh, I know we had given you an invitation card, yeah. but then you know, you know, because people would be like, "Man, so who are the twenty that you're going with? Mm. Why, why am I not there? Am I mm. not important to you?" I hadn't yet given out cards. So even to the last day I refused to make the cards. We were the 20 people were basically family and a few close friends. So I told them, "My guys, come through. This is the venue. Just tell them you're here for this wedding." Mm. They already expect you because I had sent a guest list to the hotel. I was like they expect you just come through, tell them who you are. Period. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't have to have hard discussions with people mm-hmm. over your card, man. Husband, card, yeah, card. <laughs> yes. I actually liked the number twenty. Like mm. the engagement was much easier, and you could tell people in the room knew each other. Mm. It wasn't those things of I last saw that uncle twenty years ago. No, no, no. Oh, Everyone in the that? room knew each is other. That, is that person from your side? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Like even discussions, service providers, family, what things were simple. Like. Yeah. I just loved the whole thing. It was intimate, mm. really. Intimate is yeah. the word. She knows more English than I do. <coughs> yeah, it's not just the accent. Mm. Right. Yeah, so just uh we just want to send a special shout out <laughs> to the people, the wonderful people that that cooked some magic that day. Yeah. The fire pictures that we took and all that stuff, the makeup, the suits. Uh, uh, shout out to Nick for uh, the looks, Uganda. Uh, he made my wedding suit, and it it, it just it just looked yeah, amazing. Uh, Aine Plan as well made uh, my suit for the Kuhinjira. I send a special shout out to him as well because it was just beautiful. Uh shout out to Adelaide for making Yeah, Emma Adelaide. Yeah. My gown. It was amazing. Actually, they've done my sister's wedding gown. They did um my um maid of honor treasures gown as well. So they've never disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Um the one who did my makeup, Emmy makeup. I double M Y makeup. She did a good job. I loved it. Yeah. Uh Serena, I mean, uh, oh, you yeah. guys, you guys looked after us quite well. Uh, that's Serena Chigo. Uh Charlotte Charlie slices. Uh that cake was amazing. I just sent the lady a photograph. She's my sister by the way. I sent her a photograph of the cake I saw on Pinterest. 
and she brought it out perfectly yeah perfectly it was it was crazy then of course makula pictures on the beat the Ooh. wonderful photos that we uh <laughs> privileged to have were shot yeah. beaten <laughs> by makula pictures so special shout out to jeff uh to eric and to michael who was on the video videography yeah is that how they say it mm. your english is better than mine it's video yeah <laughs> uh, shout out to you guys and uh i think this is that part of but like in the oscars where they'd be like we also want to say thank you to god you know like special shout yeah. out the weather was impeccable yeah, impeccable it was perfect <laughs> it was Good perfect weather. uh so yeah we we just want to say thank you to them uh mc muramuzi uh nazarite events shout out to you you did uh, a very wonderful job the gentleman asked me a question <clears throat> he was like what do you want to remember about your wedding day and i told the guy i want to remember that we kept time <laughs> and left at six <laughs> the dude did everything in his power and we actually left at six <laughs> yeah i was very happy we usually at weddings and they drag and people are tired and and all that but that wasn't the case and the level of engagement he had with everyone in the crowd was beautiful so shout out to you uh shout out to jabez events uh the decor was was very nice it was a very simple touch as mm. and it really looked re- looked nice yeah uh i loved it i loved it i also want to appreciate the nail bar thank mm. you so much eddie what <laughs> Eddie, Burr, yes. Yeah. The nail bar, they really did a good job and they never disappoint. So, and some nails yeah, on the thumbs up. Yeah, uh, then a special thank you to uh, Pastor Christian Suvuga of Worship Harvest, Nadia, uh, Pastor Harold Irumba and your lovely wife as well. Thank you guys for being there for us and uh, we honor you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pastor Anthony Birur as well, uh, Worship Harvest Kungu. Uh, we thank you. Uh, he's our lead pastor at church, and he was running around to make sure paperwork is in order and yeah. all that stuff. He pulled a magic trick the day we were wedded. Yeah. yeah. So a special thank you to you, Pastor Anthony Biru. Oman, I heard about my color pictures before he came into the picture. His name was like all over the place. Then when he mentioned it, I'm like, what? Okay, maybe because he's good at everything. But then when he told me he knew you personally, I was like. Okay, now that's awesome. <laughs> um, why Makula Pictures? Makula Pictures, are, the first word that comes to my mind is living. They're not, they, they communicate. They're not just pictures. I don't know how to say it. I think that's where my English stops. <laughs> they are alive. Um, they show they show what's in someone's heart. Like it brings out what's inside of, 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 you know, the people that are in the pictures. Yeah, so I don't know how to explain it, but that's it. That, that's what <coughs> I have seen in the pictures, in Makula pictures, yeah. And um, the team is just, they're amazing. They, they make you feel like, like you're part of them, like you've been friends before, or family. So, you know, when they're taking you, it's, it's like, family member or friend you know taking your pictures yeah they're very relatable yeah (laughs) the whole makula pictures that team (laughs) the team (laughs) yeah uh thanks for watching our story uh it's been a pleasure being here with you guys uh and don't forget to subscribe i think the button is somewhere down there and uh, like the video as well share uh get those comments in as much as possible let's get some feedback on you know what you like about the story the video makula pictures as a brand yeah